In problem number 13, we want to find the derivative of the function g of w is equal to e to the w times w cubed minus 1. Okay, let's review one more time. Uh, this is the product of two functions. I have a function here, let's call it f. I have another function here, let's call it g. Each of those functions individually I know how to take the derivative of. So I need to use the product rule. I have the product of two functions, and the product rule says if some function h is f times g, then h prime is f times g prime plus f prime times g. So I just need to use the product rule to take the derivative of my function g of w. Okay, so if I take the derivative here, I get that g prime of w is equal to, first of all, it's f left alone times the derivative of g. So f left alone, f is e to the w. So we've got e to the w times, that's f, times the derivative of g. Well, the derivative of w cubed minus 1 is 3w squared, and the derivative of minus 1 is 0. So it's just 3w squared. Plus, so we've got f times g prime plus f prime times g. f prime is the derivative of f, and the derivative of e to the w is e to the w times g. g is w cubed minus 1. So we multiply this by w cubed minus 1, and we're done. So we have the g prime of w is f times g prime plus f prime times g. And that's our answer. Now, really quick, uh, could I simplify this a little bit? I could multiply the e to the w through here and do some simplification. True, that's all a simplified form of the derivative. But bottom line, this is the derivative. It may just not be in its most simplified form. And that's okay.